It's funny the way ducks always have to mate in water. And it lasts for about, get out of there Pace, get out of there Pace! Oh you fucked that moment from didn't you? Sorry to destroy your moment of intimacy. Bigsy, that's my sock! Hey! What do you think you're doing, eh? I'm looking for that too, sit down! Oh, look, let's get the fuck out of here, there's no, uh, no action going on here. Second day of spring today. And it kind of defeats the purpose of having an automatic feeder, because I take it out of the automatic feeder, because some of you guys don't know how to use this, don't you? And we have a few chickens that are now needing to have their wings clipped. They've got out of the main run again. The chickens are the boss over the ducks. There we go, mate. We'll take you. Leave it, Bigsy. Bloody Bigsy wants to eat the chicken. Bigsy, don't touch. Right, they're pretty, uh, oh, we've got more out. Jeez, well, we've got this tree. We're gonna do some serious wing clipping today. My gardens will get shredded with you bastards. They're pretty chill, aren't they, upside down? Sorry about that, ladies. It wasn't very good, was it? Here we go. You okay? You all right? You, mate, you weren't helping at all. You were just trying to bite things, weren't you? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, look at you dirty bastards. It's chicken shit. God damn dogs, you're dirty. So what they've done is, they've been in the garden. You can see they've stripped my silver beet a little bit. But we've got so much, they couldn't get around all of it. See the kale seeding there. Gonna take those seeds off that and replant them a bit later on. Pace, it's just shit. No, it's not, it's actually dirt, mud. Ah, dogs and animals and shit. The good old country life. But I've got a few more chickens to, to catch. It's good to see them in the laying boxes. Look at them laying this morning there. There's two there in the laying boxes. Happy days. Well, there's another stray one. So Bigsy's seen me, and now he's like chasing him. He's never ever attacked a chicken, but he's seen me trying to catch him. He's chasing that one. What are you doing, Bigsy? Hey? Don't touch the rabbits. I call them rabbits because everything he's on there touches a rabbit. You leave it. He saw me doing, he's just copping. Good boy. That's the reason when you're hunting, if you see a, with your dogs, pig hunting, and you see a possum you don't catch it because your dogs will, will kill it oh Bigsy's hunting this chicken down you don't do that because your uh, dogs will copy him Bigsy's just doing exactly what he saw his master doing now he's checking in the, in the shed over here I see you mate I see you oh you got a couple in the shed over here right eh this is our junk shed right now sort of a temporary uh, setup until we get something a bit more established yes right time to catch you guys I got you, I got you. Bigsy's right behind me. Don't touch Bigsy. You're not helping, buddy. It'd be good if you could do it without women hurting them, but we know your teeth are a bit sharp. Don't touch. There you go. Well, Bigsy wants to get the next one. Hey, Bigsy, leave it, leave it. <laughs> Hello, lady. Getting yourself cornered, are you? Bruno's not going to do anything, are you, Bruno, eh? He's bomb-proof. I know what you'd like to do, yeah. Now yeah, back in the garden. Right. Don't touch it, Big Z. There you go, man. What were you doing in there, Po? You keep out of the kitchen in there, eh? You keep out of there, naughty girl. I saw you. Big Z, come out of there. I'm thinking the chicken feed might be getting down and these guys might be uh, escaping because they're hungry. We'll have a look and see what the feeder situation is. Okay, have a bit of salt beet. You don't want it? Well, it appears like the feed is working. Yeah, did you get in there, Pace? Oh, Big Z's opened the door. Right, let's sort this out. They just come through, push it open. You behave yourself, Big Z. Don't you touch my chickens. Ladies, sorry about the intrusion. You won't get anything out of there, Pace. This is the feeder. We'll just see what the status is. Make sure it's got plenty of tucker in it. Oh yeah, good and full. Oh, 
what might be happening is these sticks under here might be stopping it from opening up. We'll give that a bit of a clean out. Old Poe's trying to get the feet out of there. Okay, how's that working now? It's working good. Oh, it's plenty of feed. I think we need to do some uh, some cutting of feathers. Yes, we'll wait till we've got Daniel back. It's a two-man job, really. One to catch, one to hold. I'm posed on the outside of the uh, run down there. What you doing, Poe? I can see you. Hey, Poe. What you doing, Poe? Hey. Looking for a rabbit. So the chickens have basically got this entire run. They're real free-range chickens to the max. Big Z, where are you, Big Z? Big Z, come. Good boy, stay with me. I know he'd like to swing off the chicken. I'm going to pace around them up. Good dogs, stay in. This one's virtually impossible to catch. We'll just wait till, uh, I don't know, tonight. It's a bloody hard one to get. I thought I actually trimmed its wings, but no. B killed one of my black chickens in here about a week ago and that's the reason that I don't walk them with the other dogs without a rope and it's also the reason I'm one of the reasons I'm moving them on because he's trail barking when I'm hunting him but he's also seated this morning I'm walking with all my three dogs actually Bruno's with us too we've got pace Bruno come come on Bruno I've got all three dogs and they're all listening good dogs get in can go down the chicken run walk around here they stick close, they don't disappear completely. They're always like 50 meters, whereas B just disappears. Good dog. Good boy, aren't you? Eh? You're a good boy. Calm down, Bruno. Calm down. Good boy. Calm down, Bruno. Calm down. Bruno, calm down. That's enough. Pace, that'll do. Oh, Pace, can't tell Bruno off. Bruno, no barking. That'll do, okay? Good boy. You're a good boy, eh? Yes, you are. You're a good dog, aren't you? Calm down. Hey, pace. Leave it. Good boy, Bigsy. See old Bigsy's uh, heckle starting to come up now. That can be a fight in an instant. Good dog, aren't you? Good boy. Good boy. And there's the chicken that B killed. Not much of it left now. Hook's been chewing on it. Be heel. We still have snow on Mount Arthur. It is the second day of spring, still snow up there. There used to be quite a few deer up there, but the numbers have dropped. The occasional pig, you're fine, but not a lot. The distance is Starville, which is probably, oh, again, hit and miss for getting deer. You see a few, and the occasional pig below it there. It's a nice walk. Now take this off you, but don't you go away. You stay here, okay? Stay here. Bigsy get in. Bigsy get in. Be calm. Be calm. See what I'm saying guys about the command? Yeah, I'll just have a piss first boss and I'll come. Be calm. Good boy. He's really, really slack on that. Come on. And now he just wants to go again. It's not really coming, is it? Be calm. Good dog. Be calm. Be calm! His ears need cleaning out. <laughs> now Bigsy's going to tell him off. Let him have a stretch. And already he's gone miles away. And you can see he just doesn't respond like straight away like the other dogs do. Bigsy! Get him, Bigsy! Bigsy! Good boy! Good dog! Good boy, that's a good dog. Good boy, Bigsy. Yeah, the dogs listen. Whereas B just wants to. It would really, um, he really would have been a good hunting dog if he didn't trail bark. But he started a trail bark, so that just that was the last one. Everything else I could sort of tolerate, but we started trail barking and I started losing pigs. Now he's doing the whole yard, going down the driveway there. Got a hell of a prey drive for hunting. Smelling something there. And all my other dogs are all in. 
They're watching them. Good boy. Good dogs. Stay in. You're a good boy, aren't you, Bruno? Right, we'll put up a whistle and see if we can get him off that driveway. <whistles> Become! See, not responding. <whistles> Become! Good boy! Second one. Become! It's just not good enough. I still praise him for the command. Good boy, come on. Good boy, B. Come on, B. That's not coming in. Oh, Bigsy, tell him off. Gonna ask him in a minute. B, come. Good dog. Good dogs. B, get in. B! Heal up. B, come. B, come. Good girl, Poe. It's okay. She's like, he's not listening, Dad. Good boy, B. Stay in. No, she's been spayed, mate. There'll be no action there, sorry. Good dogs. Good dogs. Heel. Well, you kind of stuffed your freedom up, mate, didn't you? Oh, Pixie's 100 mile an hour all the time. He's like a big pup. He is a big pup. Good dogs. Puck up. Good girl. Good girl. Puck up. Good girl. That's a good dog. She's so responsive. Good girl, Poe. Good dog. Good girl, Poe. That's a good girl, eh? Hey? Always listening. Always listening. You could take a leaf out of her book there, B. Good boy, Pace. Good dog. Good boy, Bigsy. Good boy. Bigsy, come. You okay, mate? You got something stuck in your mouth. You all right? Good boy. Good boy. That's a good dog. Bruno, come. Come on, boy. What's that, eh? You could needle that pace. You could needle that. No, you couldn't. And Bruno won't do it without the command. No, you won't. No. <laughs> Wait for the command. All right, we'll give Bruno a good feed this morning because it's been quite cold and dogs use a lot of a lot of tucker to keep themselves warm at night. You can feel the tension. Massive tension at feeding time. Everyone's waiting. That's right. Look at those eyes. Well, first one's for Bruno. Has it's chopped up. Has it's chopped up in all manner of ways so it can fall to bits when he starts to bite into it. Eat up, Bruno. Whoops, you lost him on the ground. You got lucky, Pace. You didn't even see that. Get in here, Pace. There you go, mate. Miss that bit, eh? Yeah, another piece over here. Down here, too. There you go. Yeah, another one fell over here, too. There he goes. Yeah, cut. Keep yeah, it slow. Jeez, Poe would have had that in no time. That's right. He's just about to demolish that already. Just little squares that'll fall into when he bites into it. Poe's metabolism is that she gets fat very easy, so she doesn't get much. It's not actually a lot. She'll get that again this evening, but. She keeps very good condition for very little food. Yes, Bixie, we haven't forgotten you, mate. Bruno's there hunting down all the little bits that fell off. Nice sunny morning. Bruno, he thinks that he's getting more. There you go, Princess Pace. Eat up. Very gentle. Good boy. Don't let Bruno take it off you. Wouldn't be the first time. What a Bruno, eh? That's right. Mm-hmm. Right, let's see if we can get through this without you stealing it before I cut it up, eh? Leave it. Don't touch. Leave it. Leave it. I'm going to chop some squares first and place them all around here and then you can have it, okay? That's right. Mm-hmm. Right. Wait for the command. No, leave it. Hey, leave it! Big Z! <laughs> he knows he's done wrong. Bad dog. You mustn't eat without the command. Okay, Pixie, eat up. That's a good boy, eat up. They try it on you every time, don't they, eh? Yes, we haven't forgotten you, B. While I was doing that, guess who took this guy's tucker behind me? Yes, I know what went down there, and I saw that at the back. That's why you want more, isn't it? I saw Bruno grab your last bit. Yeah, we'll give you a bit more pace. This time, look after it, Pace. Eat up. Don't let Bruno take it off you.
I'm giving him double dose this morning because he hasn't been eating much lately and this morning he's hungry so when he wants to eat I feed him plenty because some days he eats nothing he's really into it did you think we forgot UB eh? did you? there you go mate eat up in your box good dog eh? been good mates these two. Pace, you get out of there. Pace, come away. You're just gonna shit stir. I know you, Pace. You see him like this here and that uh, behaviour is submissive like Bigs used to make himself lower than Bruno even though Bruno's lying down. But when Pace once packed on Bruno and beated Bigsy joined in because that's the nature of dogs, they're like wolves. That's right. His behaviour there is being submissive. He's going as low as he can. And uh, Pace doesn't give a fuck. Out there, Pace. Out there, Pace. Pace, get out of there. Bruno wants to sleep and Bigsy wants to play. Pine needles, gum leaves, wattle seeds. Now they'll start growing in the compost. We'll find out soon enough. This is a culvert of our driveway and it gets blocked up, so we're going to use all the stuff here. Kill two birds with one stone, clean the culvert out, and also I'm sure we can use this in the uh, compost, some brown matter. It really does block up, and then our driveway overflows, and we get ruts in it. So Murray and I keep this uh, together because the rain just comes down here, and it's got to run through somewhere. So if it gets blocked, it doesn't go out that drain, then it overflows. Come on, Pace, get in. Come on. So here we have it, it's finished, and uh, thank you for all the help in building it with your ideas and stuff. Get in Pigsy, get in Pace, four bays, it's got a bit of clay in it, we need to sort that one out a bit more flatter, but this is the first one I'm starting. As you can see, these slide out, just like that, that's how we can get into that. We're going to start this morning, we're going to put you in your box mate, because you're just going mental with Pace, there'll be a fight soon. Bigsy, in your box. That wasn't you, Pace, it was Bigsy. Bigsy, in your box. Pace, come. Good dog. You can come out this morning, Po. She's already had a walk, but she's good around the farm, aren't you? Just don't eat my food. This is actually the first time I've ever had a compost heap. Behind the house truck, we've got a couple of those black bins. Oh, you can't really see them there. Oh, yes, you can. We just throw all our shit into that and mix it all up. We don't know what we're doing. It ends up a big mushy mess. And the rats get in there because we put animal stuff in there like guts of a rabbit and chickens heads and things that we're not eating which is dumb but this compost is different it's the first one I've ever had which is going to be done properly and I'm getting help from uh, patron Anna Marie she wrote this morning first of all you want to start off with sticks at the bottom for drainage and where we're pruning these apple trees we picked up most of the big stuff but on the ground here it's perfect because we've got all of this hey Pace all these little sticks which are just not too big, but big enough to create a drainage on the bottom of the, the compost. And you might hear in the background that my truck's running. I don't normally leave it running, but I uh, got a flat battery this morning because somebody left the key on last night, didn't they? And a key, with the power on, she was flat, pretty much flat this morning, so I jump started and got her running again. I brought her up here because in the back of that I've got some coffee grounds, that I picked up and what I got yesterday from Grossy Point some leaves and some chip and mixture stuff so I'm starting to put this in here now just gonna trample that down that's gonna work good I don't need much Anna Marie said about a layer of about 15 centimeters so I'll get a bit more we sweet to go 
or post got herself an apple. It's actually quite good this because you clean the place up because you need stuff. I can see this compost thing's going to be really handy for keeping the place tidy. It's going to be a good system, isn't it? Yeah. Why did I never think of this before? These are from the trees that were chopped down. These are my poles here. Going to use some of it for making smoking wood for cooking, but others are perfect just for what we're doing right now. That's getting some drainage in my compost. I'm not sure if I'm going to jump in here with a chainsaw and make these guys a bit smaller. That'd be a good idea. Give them a zip zip. Right, stage one. Everything used out of the culvert. Next. It's like a little tip truck this. Are we going to get it out? So we've got bark, pine needles, and gum leaves. It's not bad, is it? Plenty of drainage there. Cool. It's done. Good capo. Right. This is what we got yesterday. It's like wood chip and leaves. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? This is a mixture of gum and pine. Anyway, that's going to go into a mix. You can definitely see that the uh, wood's going to let the uh, drainage work well because it's got these big gaps around it. I reckon three of these will be enough. Lovely. Now this even comes with its own worms. Are they going to survive in here or is it going to get too hot? Probably going to cook them, isn't it? No. We'll see how they go. It's pretty warm, I think. Good dog. Put our first slat in there. Now, I'm not sure if you need to have uh, gaps in these slats. Can someone tell me? Do I want a gap so the air can get through? I think I do. I think I want to put something in between them, yeah. This is apple wood I'm saving for smoking fish with. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to have gaps or not, I'm only guessing here, but I think you probably do. The ventilation, just correct me if I'm wrong, guys, and we'll take it from there, but that'll make a bit of a, a, bit of a gap between them there if we put those bits of wood in, just so it can uh, breathe a bit. Gonna smash this bucket in too. There's worms in there too, there they go. It's a nice damp chip. Oh, I'll throw the whole lot in, eh? Cool. Done. This is the part where we do some green waste, and I've got plenty of it around the place. There's some right there from the uh, weeding of the Glass house yesterday. What are you ducks doing? What are you guys up to, eh? Hey, what you doing? Got a bit of weeding to do around the house and around my citrus. All the stuff here can get pulled out by hand. Ah, that's what watered. That's what they call green waste, isn't it? Another really important reason for getting all the plants away from the house is the rats live in it. And I want to keep this place rodent free from now on. This is my citrus grove. What are those? Are those tulips? Can someone tell me what they are? They just grow wild. We'll leave them in there, but this plant here is sort of everywhere, so I don't think we need this growing in my citrus grove. This is a uh, native spinach there we've got pumpkin still good cabbage is just about ready for harvest 
And what's this here? Is that coriander? Yuck! That's a weed. Come out. All tomatoes in the history. You want tomato, do you? You want tomato? Yeah, try that. How's that? Into it? Oh, you like, you want to eat it, Pace. You can eat that. You're not going to eat that. No, you're not. I'm not sure if that's a garlic or what the hell that is. Might be a bulb of some sort. Hmm. Pumpkin seeds. I wonder if they'll grow in there. Hope not. No. They can get seeds in that too, I suppose. I found this in the garage. I must have bought it a long time ago. Uh, I don't know what you do. I suppose you mix it with a bit of water and add to your compost. Green waste down there. This is our chicken poo with a bit of sawdust through it. So last four weeks of chicken poo. Horse shit, we've got plenty of it. Oh, it's heavy. Apparently it's weed bombs, so I will find out. It's a nine sacks of horse shit, and that's the last one going in there now. Heaps. I'm going to take these back and leave them where the lady sells the, the poo. She can use those again, and her ties. All about upcycling and recycling. Horse shit. Heaps of it. There's plenty of poo here. Coffee. Oh, these are heavy. Not sure if I'm getting it in the right order. Well, let's get a hole in it. That's kind of handy. With lockdown, there's been no coffee shops open and there's been no coffee this is uh, one I got just before lockdown coffee and horse shit the two don't mix together in my mind I love coffee I'm not so sold on horse shit I wonder what these sprouts are that were growing in the coffee jeez I don't know it smells good the coffee but then my brain's going ah oh, it's mixed up with shit that's weird no nope. hopefully it gives us something good to make some potting mix out of for growing plants and stuff yeah, there's uh, plenty of horse shit in there and plenty of coffee. Okay, so the last thing is to make that compost mix up and put it on top, I suppose. Hmm, that's cool. Can someone comment what this does? I think I bought this a year ago, last lockdown, I think. I'm not really sure. From the picture, on the front, you mix a bit of water with it, like this. Oh, we'll do that and see what happens. Man, it's absorbing it. It's like, you can't see where the water's going. It's not leaking out. It's taking heaps of water. I can actually see it swelling up just while it's sitting in there. Cool. It's absorbed heaps. Solid. Ah, it's me elbow. Solid as a rock. Ooh. Not sure what this is going to do to my compost, but we'll get it going anyway. What is that? Is it coconut husks or it's got microbes in it? Can someone tell me? There's no information other than mix it with water. After much bashing, you got it broken up a bit more. 
I think that's enough. Yep, that should be enough. I'll smash it on top and leave it. I can see by that I've only filled this up two slats how it's going to take a long time to end up with three. Ultimately, I'll have three, turn that one into that one there, turn it into that one, and then the last one will be the mix of the dirt that I can use for planting stuff with, and it will sit in there. But I can see it's going to take a long, long time, like months, to get the shot up. But we're, uh, we're going to put this on, and then that's going to be it. it sort of looks a bit like horse poo, doesn't it? It's going to go over the, uh, the coffee. Oh, pa on the truck. What you doing up there, pa eh? Such a happy dog, always wagging a tail. Aren't you, girl, eh? Good dog. Well, I guess this is the last stage. Wet it down. It's actually a real sense of achievement to, to do this. It's done. I can leave it now. Working on it for four days. And I never thought I'd enjoy dealing with horse shit so much. So I'm going to just give it a bit of a coat like this of water because you guys told me it's what you do and I'm not going to cover it yet I'm going to let the sun sort of beat down on it and warm up and I might put some carpet over if it rains really heavy I might put a bit of tin over the top just to stop it getting too swamped but I'll follow your advice and keep on going I want to thank every single one of you that's made comments uh, Travis, Anna Marie oh the list goes on and on there's so many of you that have commented I couldn't even uh, William was really good, thanks William. William Gorge, a lot of people. Would you look at the fat in these ribeye steaks? Holy shit, look at that. Oh man. We're going to try something new today. So, my mate Richard, he said, Why don't you cook it crunchy on the outside and well done right through? Never had steak like that before, Richard. I'm frothing at the mouth looking at it. So we're going to do one well done and one rare. Leeks. One of my patrons said leeks on top with your onions and your garlic. We'll try that with some cream. Down here on the houseboat, just checking, make sure everything's tickety-boo. Tide's well out. And some ducks around here. You could sit here and actually shoot them from here. Look at these ducks coming into land. Holy shit, right there. You probably can't see that from here. You can actually sit here during duck season, be great. Right, get that out of your mind, Clay. Let's uh, put some salt on the steak and uh, get things ready for some feasting time. Mm. Really smells good. Smells good. Gonna come back in 15, 20 minutes and throw them in the pan. Pan is smoking hot. And check this out, this is suet. It's rendered down beef fat. The lard that's around the kidneys. Very, very good. And it's been on the houseboat for a year and two months without being frozen. And it's still good. How about that? Onion and garlic. Garlic. Oh, that smells good. Damn, that smells good. Quite a lot of moisture's come out of these now, and I think we can smash them in the pan. Okay, this is going to be Mr. Well Done on the right. Onion. One of you guys heard leeks with steak, so that's what we're doing. I don't have any sweet butter, so it's just uh, in some water. Soften up then in the pan with a bit of fat. I don't know, Richard doing this is sacrilege, man, but we'll see. It's really well done. I'm ready to do the other one now, make it rare. This one's going to get very quick treatment in the pan. Make sure I get all the fat cooked. Like that. Right, right, there's our rear one. We're going to sit that for a while. And there's our well done one. We're going to rest that for a while too. Gee, that's really well done. And these are going to go in the pan. Pans are softened down. I'll stuff them down a little bit. Salt over our leeks. Pepper. There goes the game changer. Cream. Ooh. Plenty of it too. These guys are well rested. There goes Mr. Well Done. We want that juice. We want that juice in our pan. 
with our sauce. I've just added more pepper. I'm gonna reduce this down a little bit. Oh, it smells good. Let's look at the uh, the well done steak. Oh man, that's very well done. It is crunchy on the outside. Okay. Oh god, it's bloody. I don't know, Richard. I am dribbling because I haven't eaten in 23 hours, but it is crunchy. It's the fat. Oh, that does look good. Yes, the uh, the crunchy fats. I'm sold on that. Well, that's our uh, well done steak. Now let's see if old mate here, the rear one. Oh yeah, it's more like the way I like it. I call that medium rear, not rear. You know, beautiful. She was only in the pan for a couple of minutes. Quite a thin steak. I'm not going to say that's rare. I'm going to say medium rare. A very short time in the pan. I'm dribbling. Right, let's put some sauce on and eat these suckers. This looks great. This looks really good. Oh. And then Mr. Well done. I can tell you it smells bloody good. Well, here's our rear over here. Well done, Richard over here. See the tide's coming in, I'll better go fishing soon. Look at those ducks here. Right there. Feeding. Hmm. Hats off the table, Clay. Right. Well I know what the I know what the rare one's gonna taste like. God, I'm dribbling. But I don't really know. I've never done steak this much before. I've always been really careful not to overdo it because I've been blasted for it. But I'm into being open minded and trying something different. First of all, let's just try it. Man, that looks dry as. It tastes dry too. Hmm. Not gonna make a decision yet. Gonna try a little bit of sauce. Oh, that sauce looks good. That sauce there. Oh, those leeks are great. Hmm. I've never had it done that well before. Before I make my decision, let me try a bit of the fat. Where well, the fat's kind of crunchy, like Richard said. Well, it's got sauce on it now, so the crunch has gone out of it. That's fat there. Oh, oh, okay, okay, hmm, that's interesting, that's interesting, I have more of that fat, thank you, hmm, hmm, fuck, holy shit, Mmm. Okay. That's something new. Right. I don't favour the meat being cooked that much. It's dry and a bit chewy. But I've got to say that the fat cooked like that, with the little crunchy bits, is a lot. It's a lot nicer than when it's done. Rear or even medium rear. Haven't said that. Shit, I'm actually I am actually enjoying this well done bit of steak. The flavour's different. It's not tough. I like bit chewing. I can see why Richard likes it well done. I mean, I'm hungry, but this sauce. Mm. Okay. We've nearly eaten the whole well done one. It was nearly half the size of the one that was that was um, 
rear. That's our rear one. Let's put some nice sauce on that and give it a good one. Hmm. That is actually more chewy than the well done one. They're both of the same animal. Hey, thanks, Mike, for the for the beef too. We've been trading some some wild pork for beef. He grew these himself and slaughtered them himself. I'm gonna have some more of this. Hmm. The actual well done was more tender than the rear. I've never had steak that well done before. And surprisingly, I'm going to say that I'm going to actually do it again sometime. Because we're taught so often to have it rare and dripping with blood. I'm actually, I'm going back to the bloody well done bit. Fuck me. It actually tastes better. I'll give you that one, Richard. It's great when someone speaks out against the rest and says something they like. And then you keep your mind open, you find out you actually like it. To begin with, I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to like this. I'm not, I was already getting myself to not like it. I need to drink something. So I'm going to drink some pure fat, some cream. Because there's not enough cream in that. Mm. Anyway, that's my video today. I'm going to wolf this down and go and do some fishing. If I catch any fish, I'll make a video out of that. If I don't, nothing will happen. Be good, can't be good, be careful. And we'll see you in the next one. Well done, steak is good. Shit. Some mushrooms would be nice in that. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Hmm. Who would have thought?